one year, it's within two weeks for you. And I said, who are you? Uh, he said, you have the coordinates? I said, no, I don't have coordinates. We have stories. <laughs> two weeks, he gets a call, Krita answers the phone, it's George from a base in California. He said, I have the information for you. Because I'd just given him a general area where all the stories we thought they'd be two glacier, they'd be one. He said, I have your information. I said, did you find anything? As a matter of fact, there are two man-made objects <laughs> high on the Abic 2 Glacier of Mount Ararat. And I made the mistake, and some of you all are scientists, I made the mistake saying, are you sure? <laughs> Terry, that was the wrong thing to say. He lectured me for about 10 minutes why it was organic and man-made and all this stuff. And I said, okay. I said, I, don't, I know you can't give out any information, but if I brought you a map of Mount Ararat to the base and you take your pencil and put two X's, <laughs> will that get you into jeopardy with the feds <laughs> and their security? He said, no problem at all. I flew out and got the map, two X's. So that was in the early part, March of 89. So I climbed, went by myself, climbed with two Turks, having this information. Well, my permits, I had two climbers, and they're, they're uh, you have to have Turks with you, uh, guides, supposedly. And he was a guy I met that had, uh, does photographs for National Geographic, an excellent photographer. Well, they hadn't given me permission to go on the northeast side. I got up as far as I could go, and I had a fight with him myself. Do I go on? I could have done it. We discover the ark and I come back and they find out that I disobeyed the Turkish laws. As a Christian, that is not good. It's not. I have agonized over this. I had to make a choice. Gave him the information. I had to wait. He went, came back, and he was all excited. He said, it's there, it's a coop. I said, what do you mean a coop? Because C-O-P with two little dots there is a trash can. <laughs> no, he said, it's like a chicken coop. <laughs> okay. This is the photograph that he took. There are two objects. There's another one about 1,000 feet down. He didn't get to it, but he said it's there. And he's made over 100 climbs, and he knows what he's talking about. We... Uh, you're looking at the end of it, okay? Because uh, we know it, at that time it was in two pieces. Jim, okay. Ebert, he's a French anthropologist here in Albuquerque. He put uh, Bundy away. He's on 2020. He, he worked with Leakey at the man apes in Africa and all this kind of we stuff. We had him analyze it, and he said it is a man made uh, structure, okay? So <clears throat> we come back. We come back and uh, had the pictures. Then in 1990, I, I had eight in my team. Phil, are you familiar with Walter Brown, Dr. Brown, in the beginning? The best textbook on science and creation, I think, that there is. There's a lot of good ones out there, but I think his is the best. He's from Phoenix, Arizona. He was a part of my team, and he was an ex-ranger. Uh, so we had to have contingency, A, B, C, D, <laughs> E, in case this happens, we do this. We had to go over and get, it's, it's horrendous getting permits, especially what we did. We rented a Russian helicopter in Istanbul, an MI-8 24-passenger helicopter, took out the seats, a little gal that was there at the Moss Air came up to me and said, can I go? I've never been to eastern Turkey. I'd like to see Mount Ararat. She said, if you let me go on the helicopter, I'll give you peanuts and Diet Coke. I said, you can come. <laughs> we flew. This is the time of the Gulf War and uh, so many stories, I tell you. The logistics, getting fuel and, and all that. We, we circled Mount Ararat for a whole week taking uh, pictures and video and so forth. 
again, they had left off our ability to land because we were planning on landing and getting to this spot. Well, the helicopter, yeah, I was going down on a rope. Now, I guess what? All you youngsters out here, I was 48 years old when I made my first climb. I'm 75 right now and still working very active with what's going on. Uh, there's no real young ones, but I, I always give advice for the young ladies that are in the audience. It may be in their best interest to marry an uh, archaeologist because the older they get, the more interested you are in them. Now, I, I don't have time tonight to go into uh, all the stuff, but uh, anyway, uh, the helicopter ride. Uh, I got to tell you, and Dr. Carl Baugh of Creation Evidence Museum, he's on Creation in the 21st Century, just did three more TV shows down there a few weeks ago with him on something. I'm going to share a part of it with you tonight here in a minute. but. We had gone over there, and Bob Summers, the, uh, any of you know about Robert Summers, the uh, sculptor and artist? He did the nine and a half foot bronze of John Wayne at John Wayne Airport. He did uh, Landry at the t old Texas Stadium. He did the trail drive in downtown Dallas, all this stuff. He's a close friend of ours. We had him in case they confiscated our film and so forth, and I, that being an artist, he may see things and record things that we couldn't see. And anyway, uh, we had gone over, spent a week getting permits in Ankara, have to get eight ministers to sign off, and it's horrendous. Finally got the permission. Had eight in our team. We fly from Istanbul to Dobiasit, Turkey, which is on the edge of Iran. Of course, Russia right to the north of the mountain. The last thing we had to do, people, was to go have the commandos give us permission to get on the mountain because they're guarding it, supposedly. We take all of our information and he's a young Turkish commando. And he looks at our papers and he says, yoke, yoke, no, no fly, no fly, no fly. All the blood left me, all the money we had spent, the time, knowing where to go. And he said, no fly. You know how God intervenes, even if you're not a Christian, <laughs> with others, with Muslims even? My Turkish friend from Istanbul, a dear friend that's helped us, he looks at the commander and he said, because uh, this friend of ours is, was the third largest oil person in eastern Turkey, and he turns to this guy and he said, you and your soldiers or a month and a half behind on your payments. He said, you either let my American friends fly or you get no more gas and oil. He says, I sign, I sign. <laughs> and we flew and, well, there's been a lot of expeditions between now and then. You know, every other year, somebody announces they found the Ark of Noah. Be very skeptical, people. There are people in this that are wanting fame and fortune of being the ones that had discovered the ark. My team had to agree that nobody gets the, the credit. We would make up some name so it's not an individual thing because it's for the world. Uh, <laughs> to the Christians, we have born again believers that don't believe in Noah's ark. I'm thankful it's not a requirement for salvation <laughs> and it's not. Whether you're a young age creationist like me or like Hugh Ross, an old age creationist, there's only difference between us and him, he said, was like six zeros. <laughs> <laughs> Istanbul's way over here. This is Mount Ararat right here. And we're right on the border uh, of Iran. And, okay. Now, this Next. is what, this is the rendering of Alfred Lee who interviewed George Gopian, and this is uh, the information we had. How do you like that mountain? That's the top, 17,000 feet. 
this is the Ahura Gorge. I took this from the airplane, the helicopter. And uh, it's one and a half times deeper than anything in Grand Canyon. So it's quite a trek. Now, this 1984, my beard was even black then. <laughs> and this is a, an area we would, uh, <clears throat> first time we got in a dump trunk and they took us up to a place called Ellie and dumped us out and then from there we had horses. Here's some of the horses. They would carry our, our equipment. So all we had to carry up until the second base camp. And going up, these are some Kurdish uh, goat herders and sheep herders. They have dogs there and they cut their ears off. And I asked them why they did that. And they said, well, the dogs get in fights. We cut them off so they don't have something to, to uh, hold on to. Now. That's part of the trek. It's a rock pile until you get up to the, to the ice. Now it's starting to get a little higher there. Now I'm still in cowboy boots to this point. Now this is the first glaciers that we come. It's called a black glacier because the mountain is, is absolutely collapsing. Uh, you have to uh, have your camps on ridges and there is water running all uh, out continually. This is at the base, south base of Mount Ararat, where the Tigris River has its origin, people. It's kind of interesting. There I am with my pack, and I do have cowboy boots on there. Then it starts getting a little colder and a little more persnickety, and we're coming around to come up to the apex. And this, they have, uh, Mount Ararat's covered with pillow lava. And this is only formed under water or, or, I guess, snow and other stuff. It's very slick type. And at 14,000 feet, we found all kinds of fossils. So this area was raised <laughs> from the flood on up. Now, that's one of our tents that we stayed uh, in. It's just a rock pile. You don't sleep very well. Uh, it's not a posturepedic where you can <laughs> di dial your number. This is a... South Glacier here. Oh, this is interesting. This is the area where George Stephen had the satellite picture. This is the Ahura Gorge here. And it is so rugged, you could hide 100 arcs, 600 feet long there. It's, uh, it's this from the Russian side, and that's the Ahura Gorge. There's always the ice cap. Now, this is a picture in 1990. This is Yuri, the Russian pilot. I'm given uh, directions. I had a book. This was uh, a Turkish engineer. There's Dr. Brown, Walt Brown. Uh, there's Carl Baugh. Uh, and there's the little gal that we let feed us peanuts. <laughs> and that, that was my book. And uh, uh, it's called Agri Da, the Painful Mountain. There we're in front of the MI-8 helicopter getting ready to go. That's uh, a bunch of the of our team that was there, plus some locals. They, they had not seen a helicopter. <laughs> and, and there's Mount Ararat behind it. And we, this is a, a Hora Gorge down near the where Ed was taken. It's hard to get good pictures because the weather changes by noon and you have to be back down. And guess who's trying to smooth out some rocks? Ugh. You know, these bring back memories, and some of them aren't that good. <laughs>